LeBron James signed with the L.A. Lakers. And people are now doubting and questioning the way that the Lakers are building their team. You know, the Lakers signed veteran Lance Stevenson. They signed Rajon Rondo, a veteran point guard. And people are like, what are they doing? Rondo's not a great shooter, and they have Lonzo Ball. Why would they sign Rajon Rondo? And then they signed ja- JaVale McGee. And, and, and it's very true. Rondo can't shoot. And Lance Stevenson is kind of a weird guy. I like him, though. I like his hustle. But he's not a great, great player. And many people are going, what are the Lakers doing? Lots of writers, lots of journalists are going, what's, what's happening here? I don't understand what the Lakers are doing. Why are they building their team? And some people even think the Lakers are going to suck because their team is not built to compete with LeBron. People are saying, you know, we don't think this team is built like the other teams LeBron's played on, so that's not right. I heard this the other day. They said that, you know, the way the last eight years in a row LeBron James has been to the NBA Finals. But this year, this team is built differently, so it's not going to be as successful. Um, I, I think my only response to this is, I think, honestly, people are making fair criticisms that the Lakers roster may not make a lot of sense on paper. I think I like it because it's chippy. It's got veterans, which LeBron likes, and it's got really smart players. I think Rajon Rondo is one of the smartest players in the NBA. But even though there are very fair criticisms of this Lakers roster, I will tell you this. I'm never, ever going to doubt LeBron. I, that's what I don't. That's the one part I don't understand of this is there are fair criticisms that everybody on the roster. But you, do you actually think that LeBron isn't going to figure it out? LeBron, it's LeBron James. I said it a couple minutes ago. I'll say it again. LeBron James has been to eight NBA finals in a row. I mean, that says it all to me. Even though it doesn't make sense on paper, I want to ask, when has LeBron James ever made sense on paper? LeBron James stepped into the league and looked like a man immediately at 18 years old. That doesn't happen. That's not possible. Ben Simmons didn't play at all his rookie year. Kobe Bryant took time didn't play immediately. I mean, I just don't understand. Why, are, why would anybody ever doubt LeBron James? It's, it's just silly to me. Now, I will say this. I think Rajon Rondo is there to mentor Lonzo Ball. I think Lance Stevenson is there to be a bully. But I just, I'm never ever going to doubt LeBron James. I don't doubt the Lakers. I don't doubt that they will succeed to some degree and probably a very high level because they have. Guess what? LeBron James. LeBron James doesn't make sense on paper. LeBron James defies all logic. He's 15 years in. He had one of his best years of his career, and I think he should have been the MVP, MVP last year. He's 16 years into his NBA career, and he's still the best player in the league. That doesn't happen. Two people in my lifetime have defied all logic. Tom Brady won an NFL MVP at 40 years old. That isn't possible, and yet it happened. And LeBron James is still the best player in the league 16 years into his career. That shouldn't happen. And so when you say, I doubt LeBron, I'm not sure that what the Lakers are doing, yada, yada, I would say, you have no right, you have no reason to doubt LeBron James. LeBron James has never given us a reason. Even though I agree with you. I agree with you it's a valid point that this team is built differently. And Rajon Rondo can't shoot. And Lance Stevenson, how does that going to work with LeBron? Oh, there's all these questions. But I don't think it matters because LeBron James is involved. And when LeBron James is involved, I turn off my brain and just enjoy it. Right, wrong, or different. I, I just think that LeBron James overcomes any logic you can throw at him. He has his whole career, and so I'm, I'm not going to doubt LeBron James. I will be the last person who jumps ship on LeBron James because he has defied logic over and over and over again. And I'd rather be the one screaming, LeBron James going to succeed and him fail, than the guy saying, you know, this is the year LeBron James fails, and he succeeds again because he succeeds over and over and over again every single time. The other thing I want to say about LeBron James, there's that whole mural thing. You know, that some, guy, some artist put up a really awesome, you know, street mural about LeBron James, the king of L.A., and uh, people vandalized it. I mean, and I'm not surprised by that at all. This is why we can't have nice things. You know, if I basically anytime you do anything, people want to ruin it. It's it just the honest to God truth. It is it, just honestly what happens. But I do want to say if there are any Lakers fans, because I don't what I don't believe is that the people that vandalized that sign were people who are Lakers fans. And but if there are Lakers fans, if there are people who love the Lakers and while they love the Lakers, they also aren't excited for LeBron James. They're idiots. If you're a Lakers fan, you should be very excited that your team has LeBron James. That, I, I don't know how you could possibly be a person who goes, I love the Lakers. I'm so pissed I have LeBron. That's a contradicting statement because having LeBron James makes the Lakers so much better. It's a silly, if, if there, I don't know that there's anybody out there, honestly, that believes that. But if there is, is any Laker fans, if there are any Laker fans who 
are not excited about LeBron James, I think you need to reevaluate your logic and reevaluate the way you look at basketball because clearly you're missing something. And I, I frankly think you're stupid if you're not excited that LeBron James just joined your basketball team. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember, if you want to help Strong Opinion Sports grow, you can share this with your friends on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, whatever it is. Help me grow Strong Opinion Sports by telling your friends about this show. And always remember, you can subscribe to Strong Opinion Sports on iTunes, on SoundCloud, everywhere you can find a podcast, as well as YouTube. My full entire podcast is on YouTube, as well as shorter, most more interesting clips like this. So thank you so much. Have a great day and uh, take care. Bye.